that on? Yes, we're recording. Yeah, we're recording? Yeah. This is the first video we are gonna be taking on the new camera. Yeah, this is an actual camera, guys, like not just a phone. We are at a northern border of Canada, so now we have Both been- Been here. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a really bad job here. It's okay, we'll get used to this. But yeah, check it out. I look really clear, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, I really feel like this is some high quality shiz. High quality H2O. We have made it to St. Andrews and Val has whipped up some of our rice, beef, spinach, lime, zest, deliciousness. I don't know if you can see here. And then we are gonna pop out here. So we have this beautiful, beautiful view. All right guys, good morning. So we are in St. Andrews. We are currently walking on the wharf. Yeah, it's a really cute town. We'll drop some photos here. We got away with sleeping in the town. So that was that was what's up. Like literally in downtown. Zach knocked the poop out of our, <laughs> our cabinet slots. People that choose the Ram Pro Master is because it's six feet wide. And we switched from going that way to long way because I could put my feet up on the kitchen counter. But in doing that, I sleep underneath our cabinets. That must have some really crazy dreams. Yeah, I don't know. But these last couple of nights, I wake up and I'm like, and I wham my head right into the cabinet. And so Fallon and I finally switched because I don't think she has I don't. as aggressive dreams as I do. No. So. Alrighty, so we drove about an hour and a half today. I was definitely not expecting to do that. Fowl's cooking dinner because we've been a little hangry for the last bit. Well, I'm trying not. I'm just at the, at the precipice of being hangry. Right. It's been a long day, honestly. We started off in St. Andrews, went to St. John's, and now here we are. But it's absolutely beautiful here. So, get to enjoy this with our og dog. Our og dog. Mm -hmm. We have some onions and mushrooms tonight on our burpees. All right, so Fowl is whipping up that good good. I am whipping up that good good. Whip, whip, whip. Thanks for cooking, baby. I love you. I love you. Can't actually see it. We turn on the light. Yeah, look at that. And I got a spear to share. Oh, that's new. What kind is that? It's a rattler. It's the kind that we had when we were in Canada last time. It's basically like beer plus juice. Let's do it. Thanks for cooking, baby. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So this is where we stayed. Actually, we stayed. Up there. Up there on that hill, if you can see. Yeah, it was, it was a really nice spot. It was, yeah. This is Misbeck Beach in New Brunswick. It's right next to St. John. There were like five or six other RVs out here. But... And other people that had converted like Honda Pilots and minivans. It was actually kind of cool. Over there, there's like this rock outcropping with some pine trees behind it and this is like day three with the camera so we're gonna be better about vlogging at least little micro clips like this onto maybe downtown St. John. Yep. Just got a workout in. That was pretty great. Did some push-ups and jump rope and now we are about to leave. We didn't expect to, to roll up on this honestly coming into St. John yesterday was kind of uh, a little dingy. I'm gonna be leaving this peck to go to Grand Manai. You know whenever you're on Google Maps and you're searching things up and you're like, oh, what would that be? That's what, that's how we stumbled across it. Yeah, but hopefully we're gonna be able to see some whales there, maybe some puffins. We're still trying to decide if we wanna go on that. I so, mean, like, even if we went on a puffin tour every five years, like, is it worth the $330 for the both of us? Probably. Probably, she's right. One thing we are definitely doing is taking a ferry. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be going from Black's Harbor to Grand Manon, 
and that is where apparently there there is a small chance that we could see a whale on the ferry. On the ferry. We'll definitely see some seals though. Seals apparently are pretty common. It should be a lovely stay. We're gonna bring it along with us on the ferry and we'll yeah, have some photos really of some wildlife. So yeah. So we are at the kitchen in New Brunswick about to hop on our ferry. This is the sleepy town of 900. Mm, house made cheese sauce, mac noodles, house salad. We just had dinner at this really lovely place in Black's Harbor called The Kitchen. We got a chocolate chip cheesecake from them, which is completely homemade. Every single bit homemade. It's a really lovely spot. If you ever do go to Grand Manon and take Black's Harbor um, over, you should stop at The Kitchen. It's awesome food. They're so kind. So kind. All right, we are headed on to the ferry, everybody. Look at this. We are driving on, people. Driving Here. on. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Well, here we go. All right, you ready? I'm about to turn this bad boy off. Yep. So we are in the ferry quarters. Here we go. Do not allow anyone to remain in their vehicles or on the vehicle deck during the passage. Also, pets are not allowed in the inside passenger areas. Parents are reminded they are responsible for the safety of their children. So we are back in the van. As you can see, we have a lot more clothes on. <laughs> it got pretty cold up there, especially for Fadley. Yeah, I took off my jacket already though. Anyway, we are about to exit the loading dock for the vehicles and be on Grand Manon. Alright, so we made it to the beach. Alright, so we are walking up this trail to get a better look off this cliff over here. All right, so there's the van on the beach to the left as we follow and then pass foul over there. We have another one. A little bit of sad news. We are finding out that all of the tours to go see Puffin and Whale are booked up for the weekend we are here. Puffin season ends here Sunday anyway, or at least their tours do, so. Which is tomorrow. Which will be the last day of July. I can't believe it. We thought that we would be in the van this time last year. We've been in, on the road about six months now. Yeah, so we're gonna go have a drink. Eat a taco. And contemplate whether or not to go to Peggy's Cove in Nova Scotia to find some puffin, or to head west to find some bear. Found that in Peggy's Cove, the price is literally like a fourth of what it would be here. And we're seeing more of Canada, which is cool. Yeah. We're right here and who knows when we'll come back. So yeah. this is really exciting. While we were researching our puffin tours in Cape Breton, we came across this super kind family that's from British Columbia. They also have a house here in Grand Manan. Can you tell me? And we are driving, you're good. We are driving to their place. They're gonna allow us to fill up our water. We may take a bath, not sure, probably I'm not. not gonna be taking your bath. They don't have showers. Super friendly couple here. They worked in the criminal justice system for like 20, 30 years, had some great stories about where they've been, lived, experienced, all those good things. So we're now going to their place. Um, as you can see, we're in beautiful Grand Manan. Just got some ice cream after some fish and chips. And some clam strips. And some clam strips. And fish chips and clam strips. Augie, what you think? We're going to a friend's. So we are at the house now. This barn was built in the 20s, he said. And this place has been here since 1904. How cool is that? So like we said, they don't have a shower. They're using a closed line right now. They have a well for their water, which we're gonna hook up to the van. It's very unique, and the, and the beach is right there. How cool. There we go. This used this to be the hayloft. Wow. With an old wooden ladder to run through it, and our friend who put in the dormer windows. And you said this was brought in in 1920? Yeah. It's where she gave him this thing that was pretty hard to play. <laughs> this is awesome. It's, a <laughs> it's beautiful. So you have to pump it to play you have to it. Pump it to play it. It's very old. <laughs> well done. 
Good morning, good morning. So it is day six having the camera. Fowl's up in there somewhere. I don't know if you can see her with the bug net. Augie's eating breakfast. And we are still at Grand Manon. We have decided to go to Cape Breton for our puffin tour and our whale watching. So we are gonna extend our trip, continue into Nova Scotia, and see what it's about. We've never been, it should be exciting. Uh, probably more coastlines, rocky coastlines. But yeah, it's, it's quite beautiful and we're not gonna stay for too long. And I think I just saw a seal way over there. Do you have anything to say? Puffins, whales, um, you're pulling down our thingy. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Bug nets. You gotta have them, but they can be in the way. Augie, go get it. Go get your stick. Go get your stick. Come here, let me see that stick. Let me see that stick. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna continue this journey on. We're gonna keep marching forward. We're gonna go to Nova Scotia. We're not gonna turn back because we may never have this opportunity again. Why not go somewhere we can't ever go again, potentially? Or, baby, I see seals, I swear I do. I swear I see seals out there. Is that a seal? Walking back from the lighthouse. Oh, that's ferry right there. And that's our ferry coming, so oh, we better catch it. <laughs> Thanks, Val. Beautiful day for a ferry ride. Bye, Grandmanan. It was so awesome meeting all of you. And now we are on to Cape Breton to find those puffin and those whale. See you guys. We'll be back. Yeah, we will. Grandmananers. Grandmananers.